Hi guys, this is Minori. If you know me from my other channel, I love you. So for people who don't know me, I'm a Japanese YouTuber and I post Japanese videos on my other channel. But this channel is my English channel. New year, new channel. This has been my dream. I don't want to be making a very long introduction here, but I'm basically a Japanese girl who grew up in the States, who loves to draw, who loves manga, anime, who loves cute stuff, Disney, Sanrio, and more. And I like to make stuff. I like to DIY and do lots of artsy stuff. So that's what you're gonna see on this channel as well, but all in English. So for my first video, I'm going to be drawing manga. I draw lots of manga on my other channel as well, and a lot of you guys liked it. So here I am. And today, I'm going to be drawing Kimetsu no Yaiba. Have you heard of it before? It's becoming really popular, really great story. I love it. <laughs> so I will be choosing a page from the manga, which I'm going to be recreating it, my style. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and just a quick disclaimer. I'm going to be picking a page from the first chapter, just so there won't be any spoilers. However, if you've never seen the manga or anime before, and if you want to read it with a clear blank mind, then maybe you could go watch it or read it first, and then come back to my video. Just don't forget to come back. Well, anyways, um, long intro. Let's get started. So first off, I'm going to be showing you guys my supplies. Um, it's actually been a while since I drew manga, so I actually went to the store and bought new stuff. So I'll show you guys what I bought. First off, I have this pen. You can take the tip off and insert other tips if you have any, or if it just like worns off, you could replace it with a new one. This is the ink I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to be dipping this in and draw. You need to be really careful with this. I spilled it all over myself so many times and it's not fun. Here we have a normal pen. Here I have a white pen. Ooh, this is cool too. This is a blue pencil lead, which helps you draw easier. This is a Japanese brush pen where the tip looks like a brush. I also got a ruler, but I don't think I need to tell you guys what I'm gonna use it for. I mean, it's kind of obvious. So these are the new stuff that I just bought. Here's some other stuff I'm gonna be using today. This is a paper specifically made for manga. This is called a tome. <laughs> I'm sorry it's so disgusting and dirty, but I've used it before and these tones are quite expensive. This is like a sticker where you cut it and stick it on to make the shadows and color in the shirts. I'll be showing you more later. I guess it's time to draw. Okay, so today I'm going to be drawing... Which page is this? I'm going to be drawing page 52 from the first book. Also, I want to point out that I'm not a manga artist. I didn't go to school, I didn't learn, I'm just self-taught and I'm having fun here. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna start off with. And here's Nezuko. Nezuko. <laughs> and she's protecting her brother here. And there's a dialogue. No, Nezuko is different. She won't eat human. And here's Nezuko running towards Tomioka-san. Here's Tomioka-san with a dialogue. Dialogue and then Nezuko. I'm done. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm joking. Nezuko is so cute. Well, she's like the most adorable anime character ever. And she's got super long nails here. Nail stylists will be jealous. Kimonos are hard to draw because I literally don't understand how it works. Like, I don't know where the seams go. I don't know where it's supposed to fold. Which is crucial when you're drawing because you need to know where it folds. Wait, I can't draw Tanjiro. Tanjiro's supposed to be like right here. But I think I drew it a little bit too low. So I have no space to draw him right here. So you know what? I'm gonna make it even lower. Yeah, I think I could draw him right here now. Okay, I usually have a very shoujo manga style. So this shonen style is really throwing me off. Why does it look so shoujo style? Well, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit shoujo manga style because that's my style, but I think it looks okay. But I think a lot of people will be like, wow, you're drawing the face last? It's just easier to draw this way when I'm not comfortable drawing in this style. Okay, here comes the face. The second square, I mean, it's called koma in Japanese, but I'm not sure what it is in English. So I'm gonna start from Nezuko. Nezuko's running toward Tomioka-san. And her hair is very interesting. It's not like soft, like you put too much hairspray on. And Tomioka-san looks surprised. Oh. The camera wasn't on, but I just drew Tomioka-san's face and I'm drawing Nezuko right here. Okay, so I think I'm done with the sketch. So here's a new tablet, which if you press right here, it lights up and you can adjust the intensity. Ooh, okay, okay. 
place this and I'm just gonna try tracing it. One thing, I think I drew it a little bit too low. So I'm gonna like move the paper down. I'm just gonna go over it and clean up the lines. But this time I'm gonna be using this blue pencil. And in we go. I mean, I think a lot of manga artists will skip this step. This is like an extra step to make it clean. And to be honest, it's not really interesting to watch. So I guess I'll be seeing you guys in an hour. See you later. Hi, I'm back. So here I traced it with a really light blue color. It may be a little bit hard to see on camera. It's so clean and nice and precise. It's easier for me to go over it with ink. So here comes part three, where I'm going to be start inking and making the final draft. Oh my God. So with this, hard to pen. I will be going over the lines. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. So here's my clean new pen and I'm going to dip it in. And you don't need too much, like this is good. <gasps> Did I already mess it up? And I like to wipe it once in a while and then re-dip it in. <sighs> I need to breathe. Oh my god, the face is so important. I just don't even realize that I'm not breathing. It's so intense. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I told myself I'm not gonna eat until I'm done with this. Concentrate, Minori, concentrate. Ooh, I wanna go from this square. And the last square. Oh my gosh, I can't take this off. Anyways. <gasps> okay, that was the most intense part. I totally forgot to draw in this part. So I'm gonna be adding in the dialogue. Now I'm going to draw in the little details, like the background, the lines, Her kimono, oh my god. I think he draws in all the details in the kimono. That's a lot of work. Since I knew I wouldn't be able to draw in the details with this pen because it's just too much, I decided to get a regular ballpoint pen. And then for the hair, I'm going to be using this. I'm gonna put this aside. You're supposed to twist this open, take this yellow thing out, and then twist it back in. Ooh, okay, okay. Almost there. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And I'm just gonna color her hair in. <sighs> Literally drawing manga is so time consuming. And more tiny details. And his clothes are like checkered. Why couldn't he just worn like a white jacket? The dialogue's black too. Okay, so I think the black is filled in and it's starting to look like manga. We're almost there, like almost. I don't understand, but he has a very complicated design. Why, 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 why? I, 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 why, why, why? Okay, here comes the fun part, the tones. So what we're gonna do is um, you find a clean part. <laughs> I mean, this is all used up. Usually it's not like this dirty. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this part. I'm gonna cut off a little bit big enough to cover the whole part and then stick it on and cut it along the lines. I mean, these sheets are quite expensive. I really don't want to waste them. That's why I keep on like reusing the same parts. Like this part. And this shade right on his forehead. 
Last step. I'm going to be using... Not that. Where did that come from? <laughs> no, 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 I'm looking for the white pen that I just bought. Okay, here. This is the white pen that I just got. And with this white pen, I'm going to make lines in her hair. Ooh, that's a little bit thicker than I thought. And since I don't like how thick it is, I'm just gonna go a little bit over with the ink and like cover it up and make it thinner. And put in the words and the final adjustments and this is how it turns out. So what did you guys think? But I had a lot of fun and that's what I think it counts. If there's any other manga that you want me to recreate, please comment below. I'm so excited for this new channel. I am going to be continue posting on my other channel as well, so if you guys never seen it before, please check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!